Today on Garden Fork, learn how to move a beehive a short distance. Hey everyone, I'm Eric Rothschild, host of Garden Fork. This is part of our beginning beekeeper series. Today we're going to be talking about moving a hive. Uh, when you want to move a beehive, it's usually you want to move the hive from one field to another field miles away or something. But if you want to move a hive maybe 20 feet or 100 feet within a field or something, it's always been kind of a pain. Um, Beehives, you can either move them like one foot at a time or you have to move them miles at a time because bees navigate by geographic landmarks. So if you would move this hive, say 10 feet, the bees that are out foraging will come back to the original location and fly around and go, Ooh, where's the hive? They don't realize you've moved it 10 feet away. It's really easy to move a hive several miles if you want to take it from this field to your other friend's field. You just close up the hive at night, move it to the new place, and they're like, oh, we're in a new area, we have to reorient themselves. So to move a hive 10 feet, or like about 100 feet in our case, uh, these are our original hives over there, and I think it's in a little bit too much shade for a lot of the day. This is, I think, a much better location here. I'm gonna show you a method I learned from Rusty, who has a really, really informative bee blog called Honey Bee Sweet, honeybeesweet.com. I've learned a lot from this lady. And what we're gonna do here is we close up the hive at night, uh, when most of the bees are in there. You'd be surprised at 10 o'clock at night, there's still bees crawling around outside your hive. Close up the hive. We have a screened inner cover, which is a super ventilated cover, which we're going to make a video about as well. You've got to be able to, you're going to close this hive up, but it's still going to be, you know, they're going to need to have some air in there. So I've got a screen bottom board and a screened inner cover here. And you close them up for 24 to 48 hours. Move the hive. To move a hive, we use ratchet straps to cinch down the whole thing. Then I put one by two lath, we screw it in the front and the back into each one of the supers. And then we put longer pieces of two by four with nice long screws into the sides to lift it off the table and then onto the hand truck. And then lay some brushy material over the entrance. This is some brushy material here. And then take off your entrance block. So when the bees climb out, they're climbing through all this um, leafy stuff and they're like oh where are we are we and they've also been cooped up for a day or two so they're pretty disoriented they come out they reorient right away and you're done you don't have to move it a mile away wait a week and move it back so it's pretty cool I did one already this is the one we're gonna do right now I'm gonna show you how we're gonna open up the cover and put the brushy material on there okay You see how they're immediately coming out and reorienting themselves? They're not shooting right out right away. They're coming out, they're flying around the hive and going, whoa, where are we? All right, there you go. A really neat way to move a hive just a short distance there. I wanna thank Rusty for telling me about that. Uh, we have more beekeeping videos on our site, gardenfork.tv. There's also cooking, DIY, gardening, truck repair. You know, whatever I do on a weekend, I make a video about it. So, more cool stuff. If you're watching on YouTube, would you hit the subscribe button? You can subscribe on iTunes as well. And you can also sign up for our email newsletter, news at gardenfork.tv. You gotta autorespond. Time to hay the fields. See ya.